Ah, good morning, or good afternoon if you're watching this on Catch Up. I'm Phil Davison, Director of Transformation. Typically, I've been responsible for leading the One EMH Transformation Programme, but more recently, I've been overseeing the needs of EMH as the unfolding COVID-19 pandemic spans the globe. I thought it might be different to share with you a day in the life of an EMT member. Like many of you, we too have had to adapt to different ways of working, and it's had its challenges. Now, I'll just finish my breakfast and I'll meet you in my makeshift office. Ah, you've caught me up, good. I've just been setting my workstation up here at the dinner table. First thing I do is I check what emails I've had. You will have seen a number of emails come in from our own coronavirus inbox. We've tried to help staff as much as possible through this crisis and the question and answers have been well received and thanks for your feedback. In the second survey we sent out, we had 95% of staff felt we communicated well or excellently during the lockdown. Right, I have a transformation workshop to facilitate. Don't go away. Yeah, okay then, thanks. Thanks very much. Bye, bye. These workshops are really great opportunities to get new ideas for EMH on the table. We have restarted the One EMH Transformation Programme with our focus on the original four service areas, care and support, communications, property services, and development teams. These workshops have been adapted to be delivered through Microsoft Teams, and it's actually been better than I thought it would be. And talking to Teams, progress with our technology has been driven forward at such a pace that normal will never be the same again. Office 365 is being rolled out across all parts of the business, which will open up new opportunities to how you can deliver your day job. Now, let me just check my emails. I've just been preparing the agenda for the coronavirus team meeting tomorrow. We really have no idea what will happen next, but we're always planning for the unexpected. COVID-19 has acted as a real enabler for change. We've seen so many things happen that we thought were almost impossible. Managers have had to act quickly and adapt to individual staff experiences. Whether you find yourself very busy or alone in isolation or furloughed, we've tried to make things happen. And this is a real positive for our transformation journey because we can do it, anything, as long as it's right for us to do so. It's lunch, is that lunch? Okay, well, I'm not gonna get time to exercise today but it's important to find time to take breaks, whether at home or work, and whatever suits your personal needs. Wellbeing of staff has been our top priority. Whether it's COVID related or transformation, people are what matters most. We may not get things quite right, but we do try to. Working in isolation or away from colleagues can be hard for some people, and we recognise that. As individuals, we have to understand the rhythms that best suit our minds and bodies and act accordingly to maintain them. Do you remember when you could go to the pub and didn't have to queue to get in shops? I don't think we'll ever see normal like that again, not just in our everyday lives, but in work life too. Our plans continue to be one of modernisation, and this is a great opportunity with the One EMH Transformation Programme to make those changes count. The time is now. Our customers are going through the same changes too, so it's likely their expectations of us will be different as well. Many of you have contacted me with new ideas and ways of working, and I want to embrace those. We shouldn't be afraid to try new things out, even if they don't work first time around. And we're connecting with each other in ways we've never imagined. These are interesting and exciting times, so let's try and make the difference count now. I'm speaking with directors and managers on a daily basis, and today is no exception. A lot of the messages have been the same, frustration around the lack of progress being made and the need for information to manage the business more effectively, not to mention staff wellbeing. Speaking for EMT, I can say that we remain committed to supporting our staff and leaders to improve our working practices and environments because of your commitment to our customers and service users. We collectively want to fix things that niggle at you but we need you to engage with us because only you know what they are. Talking of EMT, I've got some papers to read, so I'll be right back. 
I'm so glad all parts of the 1EMH transformation programme are back up and running again. We are revisiting the Barrett's cultural work with a view to picking up where the pilots left off. Change of all kinds take time, whether it's cultural, operational or technological. We must take the time to get it right. This means being patient so we can properly talk to staff and customers and get all views and concerns on the table. We originally planned to deliver this change over a couple of years and we still hope to do so. But with the pandemic striking, we also need to ensure staff feel safe and comfortable with the changes we're making. So please be patient. Well, I hope this has been useful. For those of you who have had little to do with me so far, please, I welcome your views and feel free to contact me. I promise to get back to you if I'm not readily available. I've been at EMH for six months now and I think everyone here is really committed to what they do and more. We need to hold on to that, making sure people are okay, whoever and wherever they are. Right, I'm just going to see what meetings have for tomorrow and call it a day. Please be safe, everyone.